and were changed by doing so into lich-like beings of long life and many powers over undead who grew intricate antler-like bone horns out of their heads and acquired strong burning red glows in their eyes. Hail and well met and welcome back to another Realms Lore episode. I am here with the creator of the Forgotten Realms, Ed Greenwood, Bone Lord himself. You want to give a little, <laughs> little bit of an explanation about what we're working with today? Sure. So today's video is to serve the Lord of Bones. And in this case, the Lord of Bones is the god Merkel. And in what we're going to investigate is what it is to be a cleric of Merkel. So if you've always wanted to know about those weird clerics with the the skeletons on their black robes, mm. this video's for you. If you are enjoying these Realms Lore videos, please be sure to check out our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash edgreenwood. And your support from becoming a protector of the realms there is what allows us to continue creating videos for you here. So uh, in the interim, please enjoy this Realms Lore video about to serve the Lord of Bones. Since Merkel's return in 1488, DR, his church has been becoming a functioning face across Faroon once more. His priests remain rare and few, but have acquired a new nickname. They are now more often referred to by others as Reapers, short for lesser Reapers who serve the Reaper, than by their traditional name of the Grey Ones, or the disparaging alternative the finger bones. Regardless of rank, they wear ankle length cowled black robes, though wear and tear may make these both tattered and a mottled dark grey, gathered at the waist with a white sash or cord, and black helms or half masks, upper half the face that is, uh, painted and or sculpted to look like a white human skull. In public they often wear full armor under their robes, whereas inside temples dedicated to Merkel, they may go barefoot and bare their faces. On rare occasions of high holy formality, or when dressing to impress non-faithful, certain reapers may wear black ankle-length vestments adorned with sewn-on bones or bone fragments intended to simulate rib cages, the major bones of arms and legs, pelvises and shoulder blades and the like. The holy symbol of Merkel is a white, face-on, empty sockets for eyes, human skull intact with jawbone, inset into a black equilateral triangle pointed top and one side horizontal along the bottom. The triangle is a stylized representation of a black cowl. Some of the oldest temples also display an older symbol, a black cloth tightly stretched over a human skull beneath so its staring shape can clearly be seen through the cowl. In such representations, the jaw of the skull is always wide open, as if it is shouting or screaming, not closed and grinning. Any draperies on or about an altar will be black, or a very deep, dark blue or purple. An altar of Merkel always takes the shape of a black table, longer than it is wide, and placed crosswise to supplicants, or a stone block of the same dimensions and location. A black bowl or raised bowl on a pedestal may be placed at the midpoint of the altar, but this is optional and is always empty unless finger bones are cast into it, like rolling dice, for divination purposes. An altar consecrated to Merkel is always strewn with human bones, from more than one creature, but otherwise a random array that never includes a skull. Shrines to Merkel may be set up anywhere and may come and go, though they must be consecrated with a special prayer and the sprinkling of bone dust from more than one human source over them. Temples of Merkel are few, and most of those that survive today are ruled by horned harbingers, uh, devout clerics of Merkel, who wore or handled the crown of horns when it was suffused by the essence of Merkel, and were changed by doing so into lich-like beings of long life and many powers over undead, who grew intricate, intricate antler-like bone horns out of their heads and acquired strong burning red glows 
in their eyes. Most current temples of Merkel are reoccupied former temples. Crematoriums or mausoleums above dungeon-like subterranean catacombs, a burial tunnels and chambers that are generously supplied with stone statues of dead and decaying humans, gargoyles and roaming undead, most of them skeletal, the animated bones of hulking monsters as well as human. Known temples active in 1499 DR include Black Turrets. In a forest glade very near the southeastern edge of the Wieldath, in Tessier, a modest ruined robber baron's keep, scorched black by the long ago fire that destroyed it when the baron was slain, has been reoccupied by reapers and become a training center, worship focus, and resupply haven for Merkelite priests operating up and down the Sword Coast. Elder Doom Honneth Korvar, Horned Harbinger, presides over it and is either crazed or holds Nikonspent whispered conversations with Merkel himself. Under his guidance, this has become the energetic heart of a revitalization of the Church of Bones. Kaloran, the legacy of deep death. Established by three Merkelite liches on the seabed under the Sea of Swords, this temple relocated to a sunken castle and became a center for the making of Merkelite magic items and potions used by clergy. Night Spire. In the northern end of the border forest due west of Whitehorn, an abandoned and ruined robber baron's keep was recently taken over by an armed adventuring reaper force under the leadership of horned harbinger Oroth Veldarun. As the elder doom of this newest temple, he's dedicated to making Merkel's influence and act of worship a vital part of life in the Moon Sea Lands, the Dales, and ultimately, Sembia. This has meant many roving priests fanning out from it, as he creates many new undead to guard Nightspire. Skull Spire. This tall black stone tower in Tolon is the meeting place of the Conclave of Doom, the most senior clergy of Merkel, serving as a training area for initiates and a hub of Merkelite activities. After failure in the form of being tolerated but largely ignored in the border kingdoms, the Conclave has turned its attention to conquering Kalimshan for the Church of Merkel. Thus far, it's a slow uphill battle. When the Conclave aren't gathered, that is, almost all of the time, Deep Elder Doom Haleth Murabert, now a lich as well as a horned harbinger, presides over Skullspire, and is now vigorously expanding the ranks of an army of all sorts of undead that form a ring of guardians around the tower, infesting the crypt city. None of the reapers under him worship Kelimvor or Syric any longer. They are once more staunch Merkelites. Seat of the Deathless. This complex of seven dark shrines in Undermountain was once the storehouse of the now destroyed by Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson, Black Wand of Merkel. After Merkel's death, it became a battleground between clergy of Kelimvor and the sardonic Knights of Grombar. But today is garrisoned by the Knights of the Undying Dragon, an order of Death Knights who would be far mightier as the champions of Urkel if they didn't number only 14 in total. The seat is an active temple once more, very active in trying to spread Merkel's influence in Waterdeep, and is presided over by Elder Doom Tajazra Thela, a female high priest who is the wife of Imarar Elhan to the head of the Order of the Undying Dragon. Their lovemaking is slowly turning to Jazra undead, an agonizing process she embraces out of love for Imarar and her love of Merkel, who sees her as his future High Lady Necromancer, his herald, something that has earned her the ire of most of the Elder Dooms of the Church, 
Reapers address each other as death. If they know they are speaking to a fellow Reaper of greater rank than their own, who is also of the rank of undead master or higher, they will name them Most Holy Death. It's fashionable among Reapers to try to seem uncaring, dispassionate, and emotionally neutral at all times. Ranks within the Church of Merkel, in order from high to low, are as follows. Elder Doom, High Priest of the Temple. Deathbringer, War Leader of a Merkelite Army, Second in Command of the Temple. Withering Lord, Spiritual Leader, Disciplinarian, Head Trainer, and Head of Household or Quartermaster of a Temple. Undead Master, Head of Scripture and Ritual at a Temple, Head of a Shift of Reapers. Ritual Consecrator. Consecrator and re-consecrator of altars, wards, and fanes, which in this faith means holy structures, especially doorways. Bone Dancer. Maintainer and deployer of undead attached to a temple as guardians, creator of new undead, leader of the Bone Dance morale building ritual. Crypt Carver. Prepare inscriptions on coffins and temple walls and doors, cast enchantments upon burial sites and tombs, the lowest rank of priest who should preside over the funeral of a reaper. Shroud Wearer Senior Lower Priest of the Church, veterans of daily temple and faith service, often leaders of missions among the laity and presiders over lay funerals. Bone Talker Leader of minor daily prayers at a shrine or temple of Merkel. Also, guard and laborer at a temple. Night Walker. The lowest rank of a full priest. Guard and laborer at a temple. Daring One. Accepted sworn novice in training and allowed to wear the dark vestments and tread holy ground unescorted. Although they spread fear of death, Reapers are dedicated to the care of the dying and deceased. They tend folk on deathbeds to make them as comfortable as possible, will communicate their wishes to others, and, in return for a skull fee of 15 to 125 gold pieces, depending on the wealth of the dying, act as an agent for a dead person after death, carrying out provisions of a testament uh, which is what we in the modern real world call a will, and doing deeds the deceased couldn't complete in life, even when these involved adventuring, long journeys, expense, or danger. Reapers travel the realms to provide these holy services, offering burial and funeral services, for modest fees, to the bereaved of the recently deceased. When assisting the dying, they nurse them, putting comfort and freedom from pain before all else, and treatment to prevent death a close second, but reassuring the dying and their loved ones throughout that death is a natural, inevitable, and desirable transition from life to the arms of the gods and other existence beyond. Priests of Merkel are experts about matters of undeath and often animate skeletons as bearers aids, and temple guardians. Merkelite priests preside over funerals, serve as undertakers, washing and otherwise preparing bodies for burial, and tend all faith cemeteries across the realms as burial ground caretakers. They hunt down and take vengeance on anyone who vandalizes a cemetery, so such desecrations have become very rare. As he did before he was destroyed in 1358 DR, the Lord of Bones charges his clergy to spread two views of themselves among other mortals, that they are holy servants of utter patience and trustworthiness, and that touching a priest of Merthyl will bring certain death. This isn't literally true, but a handful of doombringers travel the realms slaying those who mock Merkel or do violence to Merkel's priests and their actions spread real fear. Kelimvor remains the Lord of the Dead. Merkel is the Lord of Death and Undeath, 
and his priests concern themselves with dying, death, and undeath. Their secondary focuses of interest are the dying, liches, and necromancers, all of whom must be guided and, as much as possible, befriended so as to make them receptive to the church's guidance. They take no part at all in matters of murder, the act and its planning, if any, for that falls within the holy grasp of the god Baal. To those who find the fear of death sown by reapers to be at odds with their comforting the dying and their families, well, the Church of Merkel has been ever thus. Merkel wants his clergy not to be attacked and exterminated. He has few enough as it is, so he wants people to fear what can happen if you attack a priest of Merkel and fear him, equating fear with respect. If his clergy were just seen as death bringers and not comforting or helpful, they would be attacked on sight. So they embrace a useful to the living role. Hi, welcome back to Realm Speak. And this time around, we're doing this. So, this one is actually pretty simple. Do you know how to say falcon, as in the bird? Well, then you know how to say falcon. It's just PH for an F. Falcon. Falcon. I am falcon! Be very careful. Falcon rhymes with falcon. There you go. Falcon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for a <Renee. laughs> Hail and well met.